All right, welcome back to Triple R. Guess my Twitch show part two for this kind of stuff. First one I did some like I don't know finances or whatever. But anyway, this was kind of irritating me for a little while on my YouTube. Um, I check out a lot of comic book communities, and they're all like really nice guys, really cool people, um, very friendly community. Uh, they support my channel, which is always nice. So, it's a very cool community. And I used to collect comics as a kid. I casually do pick some up now and again. Um, pretty much to show on my channel and do my backlog right now. So I've, I've known about this place for a while. Uh, the Certified Guarantee Company, CGC. There's another one out there. So they came out in 2000. They established themselves as the industry's standard for grading comics. So they pretty much, made, to me, just kind of made themselves up. Uh, I watched one of their grading process videos. It's just something like anyone would do. Um, I'm not a fan of like how this works. Uh, let's get right into it. So if you look at um, the pricing, I'm going on pricing first here. See if this comes up. All right. Okay, it comes up in real time, kind of. Kind of hard to see. So modern and present is 75, which is not modern, but anyway. So that's your max, whatever. But really to get the understand here, you turn around 101 days, fast track for 72 days, at 15 bucks. All right, fee per item, 22 bucks, fast track of $15. That right there, I mean, we won't get into the $30 price that will go 20 we'll go 22 or whatever we'll round it down to 20. so that's what we're going to charge you i guess to send your comic and i guess you might get it slabbed or you put it into a may i guess it might be vacuum sealed case and it's sealed so to get your comic back out from what i've seen on youtube you have to take a screwdriver carefully pop it out you know i don't know if you just want to display the cover of a comic and just download the hd cover <laughs> anyway that's just um so that's uh june 2021 that's why i found on their site seems ridiculous if you go get a comic for like 50 cents or a dollar maybe you think it's a find and maybe you'll even look it up you're like oh it's worth like 12 bucks you really want to spend 22 dollars for them to be like uh it's a i don't know 5.5 because they say so um <laughs> and it's very this grading comics is very funny to me like We'll go into a comic here that I have. Let's hide this and we'll go to two. So I got like packs of comics from Ollie's and they come like odd comics like decoy here. This looks okay. I mean, I don't know, I haven't read it, but um has that glossy type art. Not really my style of comic. Uh, maybe the story's good. I don't know. But I'm already not a big fan of like how it looks. So I don't even know if we've been watching that. See if you can see the pages or not. Do this. Let's back up so I can see. Uh, it's got some kind of fold out in it. So this is a decoy number three or whatever, right? So then we take it and we look at it and like see any discoloration on the cover here, <laughs> which is, I mean, pretty easy for the naked eye to see if there is or isn't. There isn't. You look on the back. We're gonna be like, is there any creases here? Sometimes old comics will get those little spine nips like throughout here because people read comics and when you open them up, you get a bit of wear and tear, you know flipping through it and they also say they don't wear gloves so they want to feel, because what do you say they don't wear gloves so they want to feel the, the texture make sure it hasn't been uh, any restoration done i guess because who wants to restore their book on, by themselves right um so they would agree there's something i don't know like uh maybe because you can kind of see the um i don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but maybe you can maybe see the staple there huh I don't want that. But they'll count the pages, make sure it's all there, which I think, I guess anyone would do. 
Um, these pages aren't numbered, I don't think. We have to manually count them, and I guess back check it against another book that's just like this. I don't know. So I'm going to send this book in that I got in a pack for, I think, $5.99 for $20. I don't know what the, the math is on that. We'll say this is a, a $2 book. Do I really want to spend $22 for them to be like, uh, your book is a, I don't know, 5.5 today because I took a, a razor blade along the edges. Make sure it was all correctly rectangle. I don't know. I'm not a fan of how this, how he, I mean, it's genius that he made up their own industry standard. And I guess comic book people comment, say it's needed or not. Because I know when I was a kid, it was an issue that we go into a comic store and it'd be like either the comic book guy, like from the Simpsons, or it'd be like an old, an old fart that's going to try to rip you off that for like mostly baseball cards, but also you do comics a lot. So you go in there, you'd be like, when you'd be a kid and like, oh, I got this dollar comic. And then I looked on the comic guy that I found in the grocery store and it says it's worth $25. And of course you would go up there and the old guy would be like, uh, we will give you, or he would look and he would make up his own little rulings, right? Like the C G C does. You just look at it and like, um, well, well, this is kind of, this is kind of too, too flappy. Should be more secure. So he's going to take some money off for that. And then remember you saw his 25 bucks in your little comic book price guide, but, but he's going to give you probably, he'd probably give you something like $7. So maybe, maybe. So that's how it kind of used to be back in the day. So maybe this industry has helped that, but if, but the ratio can't be, can be good if you spend tw two bucks here then 22 bucks to send it off <laughs> 15 bucks you want it back early for some reason they may slab it i don't know and they're going to go through their process of i think it's like 10 bs steps of like what anyone would look at like if there's coloring on the book that takes off points there's rips on the cover or tears on the pages that's going to take i mean those are very basic things to look at um it's hard to see discoloration on maybe like this, but like maybe an older Marvel comic or whatever. Like I said, I got this in the pack, and those packs sometimes kind of issue. You have like a lot of duplicates. So uh, you should have sent it to me, Triple R. I'll grade it for you. I'll be like, oh, this comic is a, a 10. <laughs> it's complete and has no writing on it. You can read it. You can put it on your shelf if you want. I wouldn't slab it for like, I guess the slabs I think cost more to get them vacuum sealed so you can uh, have a hard time getting back to your comic. <laughs> but I know that's for like collectors put on their shelves. Uh, I will say this, everything is a waste of money unless you enjoy it. I just think this is a ridiculous thing. The CGC and the other one, CNBC or whatever, that they just kind of made this whole thing up and a group of guys are like, we're going to be the standard of how your comics are rated. Although we're just going to do what any anyone else can do. Anyone else. But we're going to be the ones, right? So this comic's complete. I'm going to make an example. Well, I have another decoy comic here, right? So we'll say send this one in. This will be a 10 on Triple R. And then um, uh, a comic book people are going to be mad, but this is just junk to me anyway. So... Now, if you sent me a comic that was like, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> that one might score a little bit lower. Like that's a, that's a bad comic, right? But I guess people oh, flatten it out there. Yeah, I got a little tear there. But we'll say that one's a, a 10. I don't know, you could send me like 9.99. Kidding, you shouldn't say anyone any money for this for grading your comics. It's ridiculous. And this would be a, a one. And they also do, I think they do the point system, um, like the decimals, right? So they can make it. So make sure you don't get a 10. Make sure you don't get a 10. We'll give you a 9.8. So sure it's not perfect. Give you a 9.8 because of like one minor defect that the, uh, in their opinion, in their opinion is the, the defect. 
that that's just my opinion on how the system works. Um, I never said anything to them. I never will. Uh, <laughs> but this will go on my YouTube. So you comment with guys, please let me know like why you would send it to someone rate the comic book that you could just do it yourself. So this is a, a small, I guess, rant. Um, they came out, CGC came out in 2000, finding clear, objective, impartial assessments of authenticity and grade. Today, CGC is the world's largest and most trusted third-party grading service for comics, trading cards, magazines, concert posters, and related collectibles, with more than 6 million collectibles certified since 2000. Six million. What's the math on that? Um, calculator. I know you take what six million times twenty-two, whatever that is. Uh, let's do it this way, maybe. One hundred and thirty-two million dollars. No, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not bad in profit, and that's just like at the twenty-two price mark, without the slabbing and the quick shipment back. And then I guess you can do them bulk. I don't know. Seems very genius on their part. They'll make up a, a system and then sell it to a community. And them to accept it as like well this is going to be the standard like i said if it's the reason i said before because i know comic book stores and like baseball car shops back in the day were full of crap and it's pretty much like a pawn star situation you would go in and he was he would just cut you like 75 percent if you could and it's kind of messed up especially with kids like the older like fart guy would really try to screw you over it seemed like that at least when i was a kid so you know, that's why this came about. Even still, send a, a two or to five dollar book in for twenty two bucks and hoping you get a grade that they just kind of made up. I mean, go through a process that they made to give you a grade that they made. I don't know. I think it's silly. Um, I think that was it. I think it was just going to be a comic book rant for today on the CGC and uh, there's another company it's like CM whatever I, I don't know but I have the same opinion of that so and I guess they do trading cards or whatever which I wouldn't send in either but because I mean you can see all that stuff kind of yourself I don't know how you would do your own slab so it's not too complicated but there's some decoy comics by I don't even know who makes this I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I don't really care because I really just read Marvel and DC. Anyway, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.